Good morning, students. Today's topic is the continuation of chapter number four, working of institution from political science. And today I will discuss with you two topics. Number one is prime minister and council of ministers, and topic number two is powers of the prime minister. So, my dear students. in my previous explanation as i told you about the political executive and permanent executive in which political executive is elected by the common people of india and that elected political executive holding supreme power on the behalf of the indian population and permanent executive is elected by a government process in which they are helping the permanent and implementing any rules and regulation whatever decided by the political executive and those permanent executive working for the political executive all right and in this series first of all i am going to discuss with you prime minister and council of minister in which i will discuss with you that how prime minister and council of ministers are elected so students as you know very well that prime minister is the most important political institution in all over the country because president appoints the prime minister and there is no any direct election to the post of prime minister and students you have to remember one thing here that never president appoints any one he she likes okay because president appoints only that leader who won the election or whose leaders came from the majority party or the coalition of parties that commands a majority in the lok sabha all right students here i want to say to you that when any political party won the election with more number of seats in all over the states of india in the compare of their opposition party then that majority party appointed a more number of mlas for lok sabha and finally in those majority party one any single person is elected by the president as a prime minister but condition is that the president appoints only that person most likely to secure a majority support and uh, prime minister does not have any fixed tenure or timing for working for the country and he continues their power so long as he remains the leader of the majority or coalition all right and students for clear understanding you can take example of our present prime minister of india all right so students as well as after the appointment of the prime minister finally presidents of india appoints other minister with the help of 
advice of the prime minister and uh, as well as like a uh, prime minister ministers are also elected from the majority party who won the election in all over the country with more number of seats and having a more member in lok sabha in the compare of opposition party all right and uh, after that prime minister is free to choose any ministers as long as they are members of parliament but students sometime a person who is not a member of parliament can also become a minister only the wish of prime minister but such a person has to get elected to one of the houses of the parliament within 6 months of appointment as prime sorry as minister understood it means prime minister can elect any minister but condition is this such a person has to get elected to one of the houses of the parliament it means that person elected by the lok sabha or rajya sabha one time within a 6 month of appointment as minister okay and council of minister is the official name for the body that includes all the ministers and normally council of minister having 60 to 80 ministers of different ranks in which number 1 is cabinet minister and you know very well that cabinet ministers are top level leaders of the ruling party or parties who are in charge of the major ministries and the cabinet ministers meet to take decision in the name of the council of ministers and also cabinet minister having a inner group of members of leaders of the council of minister near about 20 ministers okay and minister of state with independent charge so students minister of state with independent charge of smaller ministries and they participate in the cabinet meetings only when especially invited by the cabinet minister all right after that ministers of state so students minister of states are attached to and required to assist cabinet ministers all right students minister of states are required to assist cabinet ministers so students and students it is also not compulsory for all ministers to meet regularly and discuss everything because major decision mostly taken by the cabinet ministers in cabinet meetings so students that's why parliamentary democracy in most countries is often known as the 
cabinet form of government and the cabinet work as a team so students as i told you above about the minister of state with independent charge and ministers of state in which cabinet ministers are more important among all the group of ministries all right and the cabinet work as a team and minister of state and also minister of state with independent charge working together and the ministers may have different views and point of view and opinions but everyone has to own up to every decision of the cabinet all right and students you have to remember one thing that no minister can openly criticize any decision of the government if it is about another ministry or department and you know very well that every minister has its own secretaries who are civil servants and those secretaries or civil servants provide the necessary backgrounds information and knowledge to the minister to take any decisions okay and cabinet as a team is assisted by the cabinet group of secretary and this includes many senior civil servants like is pcs and more number of civil servant who try to coordinate the working of different ministers with their ideas point of view and on the basis of their wisdom okay after that your next topic is powers of the prime ministers so students prime minister is the leader of the ruling party and also head of the government and leader of the cabinet also and prime minister working as a link between president and the cabinet and uh, prime minister is also a very important leader of the parliament and represents country in foreign affairs and also our prime minister is the chairman of the planning commission or niti aayog and also call or chairing cabinet meetings and distributing portfolios or programs or any rules and regulation for the implementation in all over the country among ministers of india and also our prime minister making many important domestic and foreign policies with the help of their elected leaders and with the help of cabinet minister to implement any program and policy for the welfare of the common people and india so students for today that's all and in my next topic i will discuss with you function and power of the president all right thank you and have a nice day